G'day legends. Well, crypto has recovered from the lows of the the 49,000. Uh, it hasn't revisited that area yet. Um, for everyone's mentality, I suppose we probably don't want them to, uh, unless you're wanting to buy more. Because when it's down there, I know we all sort of go, oh no, what if I was wrong? And you know, all these type of things, all that stuff crosses through your mind if you're not a, a seasoned uh, crypto investor. <clears throat> Sorry, I, I am trying to talk a little bit low if you're wondering why I, um, I'm not quite as loud. It's because I'll be, I do these videos when all the kids are in bed, uh, generally in winter, because in summer I sit outside and do them. So can't do that in winter because it's very you know cold and dark out there uh so what has happened since i last spoke and i know i haven't been uh right on top of it lately um uh, that just been very busy a few family things going on uh well we've just been range bound sorry i just had to think about it. <laughs> like Essentially, there's not been that much news going out. There was a lot of news to cause the down, uh, the downturn. You know, over, just over a week ago, there was a lot of news, a lot of bad news, um, and it's kind of been in that for me now. It's that, well, if that's as bad as it goes, that's not too bad. Um, without any other bad news as a catalyst uh, to send us lower. Um, we recovered very, very fast. Uh, some that I was, I must admit, I was not expecting that. We went from that forty-nine thousand two hundred area, and we re revisited sixty-three thousand within two days. So, excuse me, a bit itchy, but um, yeah. So that was uh, not what I was expecting. I thought that would might take a couple of weeks, um, but as I've said, behind all of it, there's quite often. Um, whales making a scare uh, uh, causing the start of the scare and also they'd be buying it up the good things that came out of it as far as for your bags right now not necessarily for the whole future um there was the etf people um so, such as blackrock graystale um all those uh, in the top four ETFs, they did not sell any Bitcoin during that um, sell-off, and they bought more. Um, so, as far as stability and, and, and the knowledge of knowing that, uh, if they're not selling, you shouldn't be selling either, in my opinion. Um, or I shouldn't be selling. I won't tell you what to do. Just a reminder, I'm not a financial advisor. Um, so obviously anything I say is for entertainment purposes. Uh, do your own due diligence. If you listen to people on the internet, you have to take everything with a grain of salt. Um, that is, that's what it is. I mean, I'm drinking a, a beer while I'm telling you anyway. Right. Um... But they didn't sell, and they bought. And so if they're doing that, and they're very, very wealthy and know how to get money and make money, um, you know what they say, don't listen to what they say, just do as they do. Um, just be careful who you are watching. Uh, obviously, yeah, I'm not a big channel or anything, uh, but I, my, I got actually sent by a family member this guy just saying, you know, sell all your Bitcoin and write, some kid in the back of, you know, a fancy sports car and that. I, li I just said back to him, my response was, that kid does not know what he's talking about. And yet he's probably got, you know, 100,000 or 600,000, whatever, followers. If all those people sold, he was part of the panic and he probably did the opposite of what he was telling other people. Make sure the people you're listening to seem legit uh, obviously there's no real well of, way of telling that you've got to follow their track record um, one of my last videos 
cut off, the, the phone actually died right as I was about to say, probably made about 30 seconds left. I was about to say there was some good news. It's good to a degree. Um, Russia has let foreign trade be done with Bitcoin uh, or cryptocurrencies. I think it was just Bitcoin. It was actually, so it was a week ago now. So it's old news as far as that goes, but probably new from anyone watching me. Um, so their citizens still can't buy as far as I know, but you know, the government's allowed to do whatever they want, you know, so uh, they have, the, the Russian government is going, allowed to use it in foreign trade so they can buy and sell stuff with it. Uh, so that was uh, bullish um, to a degree, you know, every every time it's, it's getting used and that more, it's it'll pump your bags a little bit more in the long run. Uh don't think there's much more. I think we're, we're just range bound at the moment. We're really waiting to see. So 63,000 is the top of this this channel for us to move up to the next level. We've got to get back over 63,000 uh, USD for Bitcoin. Um, and just a reminder, the reason I always talk about Bitcoin as, a fo as opposed to all of our other favorite cryptos is no matter what happens, Bitcoin is in charge of where the market goes there may be outliers um what's one way i'd put it you ever seen those movies with the army people and that and they go marching and the head you know the general or the colonel or whoever's at the head of that particular pl platoon or whatever they call them he's in charge and realistically that army goes wherever he directs it to some people may walk a bit faster than him some may lag behind um but they all do what he says they all go the direction he's that guy says um and he he you know sets the marching pace as it were bitcoin's exactly the same in cryptocurrency bitcoin decides the direction the market is going the bitcoin decides whether we are bullish or we are bear, bearish, so whether we're going up or whether we're going down. And ultimately, Bitcoin sets the pace as far as if your favorite coin's going up, generally you're going to find out Bitcoin's going up at the same time if you look at it. So the first thing I do is I always look at Bitcoin first. Um, and then, you know, if Bitcoin's up 2%, my favorite coin might be up 4%. Or something I'm looking at, you know, that type of thing. If Bitcoin's down 4%, my coins are going to be down 10%. It's just the way it works. So mapping out where you think Bitcoin will go generally will give you an indicator of where everything else is going to go. Uh, well, it's, yeah, as long as they're a, a, a coin that uh, is loved by the community. Um for my next video, I will probably do it tomorrow night. I'm planning on doing a video, uh, which is if I could only pick 10 coins for my portfolio, what would they be and why? Um, I was going to do five, but then most people will have about 10 in their portfolios. You can take it for five um, if, you know, if people want to look at it and see. But um, yeah, I was going to do five, but I decided to do 10 just because that gives you that little bit of extra risk further down you go. All right, well, I better log this one off. We're at nearly nine minutes. If you've made it to the end um, and you're not subscribed, please subscribe um, and chuck a like and a comment if you want to. I'm happy to answer any questions. The likes, the comments and the subscriptions help build this channel. My channel is just there for... Um, well we say for entertainment but it's it's to help people um and i talk in a very down-to-earth manner i try not to use uh, i if i use a terminology i generally try and explain it so i'm aimed at new crypto people at a very bogan basic uh way of explaining things so if you think there's someone that uh, might enjoy my channel um send it to them tell them to subscribe and share me around. All right, uh, have a great evening. Uh, do something nice for someone else if you've got the time coming up. So I always sort of, you know, spread the love, try and do something nice for someone else. Crypto Bogan out.